everybody, this is Faith from faithspizacademy.com and in this lesson, I just want to offer you some tips on how to customize this particular set of gift tag templates contributed by me inside our treasure box for Canva creators. Okay, so I, well, as with all the Canva template links, once you open them up, it will help you save a copy inside your Canva dashboard and then I usually like to go to file and then make a copy. Okay, so this is already this has already been done. I've already made a copy of my of my Canva templates. Okay, so there are a total of thirteen editable pages. Oh, sorry, twelve editable pages. Okay, with different gift tags, different designs, different shades for different seasons. I really enjoy creating this. In fact, I really enjoy creating printables designed for kids because I think it's always so bright and colorful and cheerful and and I think the idea is to give the children so much joy and I get a lot of joy in the product creation process as well. Okay, so these are not difficult to customize and you can definitely use them as is. So all you have to go all you have to do is go to share and click on download okay remember these are for personal use as in for commercial use for you you cannot pass on the commercial use rights to your customers which means they can only use it for their personal use only okay so uh, then we will download it as pdf standard if let's say you're only selling page 9 then of course you can flatten the pdf and then click on page 9 and download and that will give you page 9 in pdf version and that is how you want to um, sell it, distribute it, okay, for people's personal use. Now, the other thing is, you can sell this as an editable gift tag template, okay? So, for example, if, let me make an, okay, let me just use this Halloween one as an example, right? So, um, before that, you, you see all these different designs, it's all about a matter of choosing the particular shape that you want okay and then after that just diving into creating it one way to do it is to just ungroup the things and then individually replace the elements so for example i don't like the dinosaur and i maybe have used ai or wherever i found my own dinosaur graphics and i want to use them that's also possible and i could just replace it like this right I can even flip it onto the right, flip horizontally. No, it looks better on towards the left because of the, let me just zoom in, because of the shape of the back, right? So have a raw some holiday fits better like this. And I might just positioning it backward behind the balloons. Now these are all color changeable as well. So I could also change it to let's say a yellow and this one to a red. No, that's too clashy. Let's try the blue and maybe the orange to a pink. Okay, and then change all. I should have done that to change all just now. Let's try that again. Uh, let me just undo everything. Okay, so here I'm selecting this because you see these balloons are actually um, multiplied and duplicated on all the graphics right so here i'm going to change the purple to let's say pink and i should click on change all all right and then the blue to perhaps a green and then change all also and then the orange to a purple like this darker shade of purple and change all now you will see that the entire page has changed Okay, so that's the fast way to do it. Or we could really just replace it. Okay, let's say I don't want balloons anymore. I want some kind of grass. And imagine the dinosaur is stomping on some grass. Okay, I could possibly use the bushes like this one. And just shrinking it down like this. And Control D to duplicate and just making uh, duplicates like this. Okay, there we go. And let's say I don't like the party streamers, or if I like, we we'll just keep them. I might want to change it to orange, change all to orange, 
and possibly to blue change the purple to blue mm, not the right shade I like this better change all also okay so you can do that and if I want to just instead of having the different designs I could also have the same design on an entire page okay so delete that delete that so click to drag everything and group and Control D to duplicate it right like this click to drag okay and group it again Control D and then I could just keep doing it until I can fit like one two three four five so that's a total of ten designs on one page and here what you see me just what I just did is I pulled this down all the way to the border so you would see that if I was zoom in you will see that there's this faint dotted lines here right so it forms a margin around the page so if you don't see on your own Canva that uh, Canva project screen then what you need to do is go to file go to settings and show margins if I were to click it it disappears if I go back file settings and margins it appears again so it helps me kind of make sure that I save enough space around the border just in case you know for printing you don't want your important content to go all the way to the edge um, in case the printing gets slanted or whatsoever or especially when you're printing like journal pages or planner pages where there is a chance that people will want to bind it or punch holes in it so you want to make sure that there is a border okay and then click to drag everything and go into position and I'm going to position it vertically to space them out evenly all right so that is why I actually grouped each of these rows correct so that when I space them out evenly we're actually spacing out five rows okay once again if I were to just mess things up right like these what you want to make sure is that you always have the first one where you want it to be which is at the top margin in this case and the bottom one where I want it to be which is at the bottom margin everything else in between it doesn't matter we can press ctrl a to highlight everything select everything on the page and go to position and click space evenly vertically so now everything is evenly spaced now if I were to move this up right here and then do the same thing ctrl a and then position to space evenly now you see that there's still something that is so it's evenly spaced vertically but you would also see that this row is jutting out to the left right so I also want to make sure it gets tidied up like that so now everything is neat up. okay but what you would see that is because the top they take the they take the guide from the topmost row and the bottommost row and therefore it's evenly spaced now but what I really want to do is also to make sure that everything is maximized out on the page itself right so that is what I want to do so here I'm just gonna control a to highlight and select everything again and go to position and space vertically and now it fills up uh, and you a US letter size page nicely with even spaces in between and everything looks really neat okay so that's um, a permutation or a variation from the original dinosaur design okay so just now I mentioned that it is also possible for you to adapt this edit customize and sell it as an editable Kemba template but once again the baseline or the main thing is that people can only use it for their personal use so for example if let's say I want to print it out for my child or I want to customize it right so instead of having to handwrite handwrite every single tag I could literally just type it in right so I could say type from Michael M-I-C-H-A-E-L sorry M-I-C-H-A-E-L yeah okay so here let me just zoom in and what we need to do is I probably need to ungroup this and make sure that it's spread out like this so if I sell it as an editable Canva template to my customers they have the option of typing in stuff before printing out the final gift tag design okay so you're not really getting them to change out the design but you're just making them giving them the chance to personalize their gift tags okay so if I were to do that what can I do right what can I do to prevent people from actually from actually changing the designs I want to sell it in this design 
I want to allow people to customize it so that they can get the editable Canva template without changing the graphics, without changing my design, but having that freedom to change this particular space, which is the from space. Okay, so what I can do is I would, let me see, let me just duplicate this. Okay. I would ungroup. Nah, actually it doesn't matter. Sorry, I was just thinking about something. Okay, so what I would do is I would download page 10. Okay, download page 10 as a PNG or JPEG is entirely up to you. Let's stick with PNG and just downloading it page 10. Okay, so this is just to give you an idea if you want to sell it as a customizable gift tag to your customers for their personal use. All right, so I've downloaded this and I don't want them to change my design. I want to use, I want them to use this particular design so they don't end up changing the colors or changing the monsters. All right, so now that I've downloaded this particular page as a PNG file, I'm going to go to file and create a new design and searching for US letter size document and it will open it up in a new tab for me. And then I'll go to the left-hand side menu where I will click on uploads and proceed with uploading this gift tag. Okay, so now that this image is uploaded, what I would do is I would then stretch it out all the way to fit the page as what is originally meant to be. Okay, so then I could name my gift tags and then I would click share and see all and then share it as a template link okay so create a template link so this is the url that i will share it with my customers after they complete their purchase right so here let me just open it up so this is it okay so they receive it as an editable gift tag but one thing to note is because let's say because of copyright issues and whatsoever i don't want them to split up my gift tags i don't want them to change out my designs which is why everything now is flattened as a png and put it up there inside the canva project as a png file so if people were to click on it they cannot change the designs but what they can do if let's say I purchase this and I want to customize it to rename, to type in my child's name, I would then click on a text box. Okay, let's say click on a text box and then let's say put my son's name or my child's name or any child's name here, Michael, and put it right here. There we go. So now it becomes customized, right? As the end consumer, instead of writing it down on my own. I just type in, place it neatly. I could even change match the name of my child according to this design, right? Or any other color that I want. But let's just keep it simple. Let's just make it as black. And here, okay, let me just zoom in. I want it to be just right in the middle like this. Okay. And then what I would do is control C, control V, or just control D. And after that, holding down the shift key to select both Michael text box, control D to copy, duplicate rather here, control D again to continue, to continue duplicating it. And because all, all the gift tags are already evenly spaced out, the smart algorithm actually helps me duplicate it really neatly. Okay, so now I could even also just type in the recipient's name, same thing. Okay, so basically I'm trying to not allow my customers to make changes to my gift tag designs, but still giving them the room to edit it by adding their names. Okay, so that's what I would do. I would download that particular page, that design as a PNG file, re-upload it, and then I will share it as a Canva template link. Okay, so that's one way to actually sell these as editable, customizable Canva templates. Okay, so of course, if you feel like, okay, every, since everything is, um, I've already done everything in Canva, the graphics are from Canva free account, uh, there is no real need to flatten it because I'm just selling it as editable Canva template, it's also possible for you to just sell it like this, okay? everything movable but my personal opinion is that you have to imagine if somebody buys this thing from you this set of printable from you they may not be that savvy with canva 
So it could get very frustrating or very confusing if you give them this Canva template where everything is movable and they accidentally move things and they go, oops, and then that's not what they want. You know, sometimes people just want it simple. Okay, so then in that case, it could actually be better if you are selling them the flattened version, but still putting it in an editable Canva template so that they can do minimal customizations like adding in their own recipient names and sender names. Okay, so I hope you have found this to be helpful and fun and give you some ideas on how to use these. And thank you so much for your attention. I will see you in the next lesson.